we're asked to subtract and state the difference in simplest form. So we're subtracting one rational expression from another. And just like the case when you are subtracting fractions, you have to make sure, or adding fractions for that matter, you have to make sure that you have a common denominator. And over here, it looks like we have kind of the same components, but they're not quite the same thing. So we need to find the least common multiple of 7m squared n and 3mn to the fourth, and then that we can use as a common denominator. And let's see if we can do that. So let me find a common denominator. We have a negative sign out here and a common denominator over here. So our common denominator is going to have, let's just look at each of the numbers. So we have a 7 here, and we have a 3 over here. So the common denominator has to be divisible by both 7 and 3. Or another way to think about it, the least common multiple of 7 and 3 is 21. So we're going to have to have 21. We're going to have to have 21 in our common denominator. And I'm getting that by incorporating the 7 and the 3. That's what gives me the 21. Now let's look at the m's. This denominator here has two m's if you were to factor. It's m times m. This only has one m. So as long as we're divisible by m squared, then we're also going to be divisible by m. So we just have to put an m squared over here and an m squared over here. Notice, this is right now, this is both divisible by 7, 3, m, and m squared. So we're cool through the, through the m's. Now let's look at the n terms. It has to be divisible by n, and it also has to be divisible by n to the fourth. Well, if we're divisible by n to the fourth, we're definitely divisible by n, because this is one of the factors of n to the fourth. It, this to the fourth power is n to the fourth. <laughs> anyway, so we have to be divisible by n to the fourth. If we're divisible by n to the fourth, we're definitely divisible by n. So that's our common denominator. We're divisible by definitely by 7m squared n, definitely divisible by 3m n to the fourth. So that's our common denominator. And to go from 7m squared n to this right over here, we had to multiply it by 3 times, to see, the m squared, we didn't have to multiply it by anything. To get from n to n to the fourth, you have to multiply it by n to the third. So we have to multiply this times 3n to the third. So we multiply the denominator by 3n to the third to get this over here. So we also have to multiply the numerator by 3n to the third. And 3n to the third times 6m, so 3 times 6 is 18. And then we have an m, 1m right over there. And then we have an n to the third, n to the third. Now let's do it with the second term right over here, or the thing that we're subtracting from this first rational expression. So to get from 3m, so let's see, to get from that to that, what did we have to do? To get from a 3 to 21, you had to multiply it by a 7. You had to multiply it by a 7. And to get from an m to an m squared, you had to multiply it by an m. And then to get from an n to the fourth to an n to the fourth, you didn't have to multiply it by anything. So to get from this expression of the denominator to this expression of the denominator, you have to multiply it by 7m. So if you multiply the denominator by 7m, you also have to multiply the numerator by 7m. And so you have 5 times 7 is 35. And then we have 1m, this m right over here, and then we have n to the third. And now we are ready to subtract, because we have the same denominator. Let me write the denominator here. So our denominator is 21. 21m squared n to the fourth. And in our numerator, we have 18mn to the third minus, minus 35. Minus 35mn to the third. Now this is interesting because we have 18 of something, of mn to the thirds, and we're going to subtract 35 of that same something, mn to the third. We have the same power on m, same power on n. So this is 18 of something minus 35 of that something, which is going to be equal to what? Well, 18 minus 35, this is really just practice in subtracting negative numbers, is negative 17. Let me do this in a new color. So this is going to be negative 17. Negative 17, that's mn to the third, right? 18 minus 35. 35 minus 18 would be 17. So if you take this, if you swap them around, you're going to get negative 17. Yep, that works. And then all of that over, all of that over, 21, 21, m squared n to the fourth. 
And let's see if we can simplify this further. Both the numerator, 17 is prime, so you can't simplify that with 21. Both the numerator and divide, the denominator are divisible by m, so let's divide them both by m. This becomes a 1. This becomes just an m. Both the numerator and the denominator are, divided, are divisible by n to the third power. So if you divide the numerator by n to the third, that becomes a 1. You divide the denominator by n to the third, this becomes an n. So we are left with, we are left with in simplest form, negative 17 over, I'll do it in the same colors, 21 m, 21 m, n. And we are 